Are you ready to get wet? Uh, not quite. We don't have bathing suits nope. on. <laughs> oh. We're here at Dollywood Splash Country for a construction tour. We want to know what's coming up for the 2022 season. Yeah, can't wait to see what they have in store for us. I, I really can't get wet? Not today. Let's go inside. Maybe, maybe the pool's open. While walk around Dollywood Splash yeah. Country, it reminds me of that charity event we did where we had to do all kinds of challenges we have in the peed. park. <laughs> yeah, racing down the slides, racing in the lazy river, oh, yeah. a food challenge. You what place did I come in? We're gonna put a link to that video down below. Yeah, you did really good. That food challenge was a little rough, but yes, we are gonna put down that description and link down below. Because they need to know who, who won the race on the slides. Oh yeah, it was a close call. It so was a photo finish. Know, yeah? We are standing in the new children's play area. Let's hear more about it. The park will celebrate its winning second season this year. Uh, and uh, one of the main projects that's going on over here, as you can see behind us, if you're familiar uh, with the park, if you've been here, George backing up. Uh, <laughs> Little Creek Falls. Uh, was in this area behind us, there was a large structure, which obviously is no longer here. So you've heard us uh, already throughout the morning, we're talking about guest experience and listening what the guests are telling us. And they were telling us that if you had children who were a little bit smaller, mine about that same size, so I understand, there were not a lot of places in Splash Country for them to go and, and be able to splash around. And we also heard from our ADA advisory panel and they were saying, you know, we would like to have more places where it's wheelchair accessible and more people can come and take part in the fun. So that led to the project that you have behind us. Uh, I'll let you use water jets and a lot of splashing and fun, but what it's going to be able to do is allow uh, kids and everyone, all ages, all abilities, to be able to come in here and splash and play and have fun, and that's what we're all about. So with us, we have Jordan Leach, who is the Director of Operations here at Hollywood Splash Country, and Lauren Lowry, who is the operations manager here at Splash Country. Curious what the Lazy River looks like in the off season. Take a look. You know, Pete's always, always talking about voice of a visitor and listening to what the guests want. And when you look at the attractions capacity for, for the park, one of the things that we were really lacking was things for young families to do on park. So as we look to advance our 10 year plan, all the evolution that we're intending to do here on Splash Country will be family oriented rides and attractions and experiences that will help the day go a little bit smoother. Being able to spread out a little bit, have a little bit more lay down is always really important when you visit uh, Splash Country. Little Creek Falls, as, as you remember, uh, like uh, Wes said, had a, a structure and some slides over in the back. And we really wanted to re-envision that um, so that it's more inclusive for those families with smaller children or someone who has uh, different accessibility needs. And what we came up with was a zero depth entry splash pad. It's gonna have about a hundred um, play elements. Uh, so some of them are gonna be taller, some of them are um, child height, and some of them are really just on the ground level. It'll have um, additional seating that we'll be able to implement just around the, the side of it. And uh, the most exciting part of it is that we were able to incorporate some of these butterfly shade structures that you see elements of now into the, the splash pads to provide some shade during those uh, key times of the day. I think of that noon to three mark when the sun's at the highest and it's the hottest. So we really think that our families with uh, small children are gonna enjoy that. Give you a good close up look at everything out here. What's left of it. But they got a lot going on. Some of them are just little pop jets that are on the ground. And so, you know, that's something that the parents can really sit on the ground and enjoy with their with their little ones. Uh, there'll be uh, probably about a dozen that are uh, child height. And so those are, you know, just little, it, it fits into the theme. So you're gonna see like cattails and other uh, things like that here in, in this area, uh, large, uh, leaves and, and things of that nature. And the tallest elements um, kind of look like trees. So um, yeah, it, it fits into the theme, but uh, good question. So it's a, a, a nice little hodgepodge of uh, different size elements so that we can cater to uh, different age groups. And accessibility is really key, right? We're trying to, we're trying to advance, you know, that idea for our property. Take a peek, it's not just 
that splash area that's getting a little bit of love and construction. I mean, they have all this going on. Looks like they're doing something over there. We see a lot of landscaping going on. You see a lot of other things going on. Tell us a little bit about what you have going on to get ready for your season uh, when it opens in May. We've done a lot of work uh, over the last uh, four to five months. We have resurfaced a lot of our water slides, about 60% of them uh, received a, some fresh gel coat. So that's just gonna um, continue to you know, maintain the product. But then, um, you know, from a guest facing standpoint, you see the, the landscaping team behind us, um, and uh, they, they've been busy all winter. So we, we used to kind of go into a hibernation mode uh, right after fall. And over the last couple of years, the landscaping team has stayed at the park all the leaves. And then they, uh, you know, they started putting mulch down just a couple weeks ago. Uh, so some of those things that you might, as a homeowner, do later in the spring, we're working on early so that we can get ahead of it. Uh, the landscaping phase two that we're in right now is really just about getting back to the roots Let's uh, make sure that we're focusing on some of our uh, native plant species that are um, here in the Smokies and, and using those as the focal point. This is really just about maintaining the, the assets that we have, right? So it's everything from, you know, maintaining the, the wood on the exterior of the buildings, painting them, it's roofs, it's concrete. As you can see, we're gonna be doing a lot of concrete work here in the, in the coming weeks. Uh, it's refinishing concrete uh, throughout the park. Um, you know, we saw that last year when we redid the bridges and the railings uh, that we come across a little while ago. You know, we want them to come in every season and see something new. Hey, they've changed this, or hey, that's a different color, or, or whatever. It's really just about um, staying up and, and making sure that we're providing a, a, a great guest experience. So we're in today, and in the off season, the amount of trees and uh, cover that you get here is really unique compared to any other water park attraction that I've seen throughout my 37 year, you know, career here. You know, in the near future, you'll you'll hear us talk about the next big project here at Splash Country that we're, we're gonna be uh, focused on very soon. Pete hates when I say it, but <laughs> soon to come in 2024. Yeah. Our lifeguards are routinely ranked among the highest that Ellison Associates, uh, that they audit across the country which is something we're very proud of and we like to you know, think that we're the most trusted water park here in the Smokies and a lot of that is because of the efforts that these two put into it. So Lauren, talk a little <coughs> bit about our lifeguard program, how we train them and why we are able to score the way we do. We're staffed with over 270 lifeguards here at Dollywood Splash Country and Dollywood Dreamwear Resort and Spa. So we have lifeguards 365 days a year over at the resort which is not typical of, of, a, of a resort um, in this area. So we're really, really proud to provide that next level safety for our guests year round. Um, during our season at Dollywood Splash Country, we staff 85 highly trained lifeguards a day. They undergo five full days of training before they can even start the season. Um, and we're very selective through that process. Uh, they also have to maintain in-service training throughout the summer um, with an hour a week. Um, required uh, to, to function in their uh, aquatic safety position. Uh, so we're really proud of our, our scores um, through Ellis and Associates. Uh, <laughs> you know, I don't like being put on the spot with that, but I have to brag about the team. Uh, they're absolutely amazing. Uh, we just recently were awarded uh, two days ago with the uh, Platinum Award um, from Ellis and Associates for Dollywood's Dream War Resort and Spa. The Platinum Award is awarded to only 10% of Ellis & Associates facilities worldwide. We're really proud of that award and we have to work really hard to get it. Um, uh, so that's actually a compilation of all of our audits that uh, give us that overall award. So we're really, really proud uh, to, to represent uh, Dream More, not just Splash Country. So uh, we just wanna continue the, the high standards for aquatic safety for our, for our company. What'd you think? Well, there wasn't a lot to see, but from the description of it, uh, I'm really excited about those awards. Yeah. Like, that was something. And I love the passion that she had when she explained it. Um, I actually put a short in YouTube, so go and check that out for all her explanation also. Right. But wow. Yeah, That's, and I mean, did they say 285 lifeguards? That's a lot of lifeguards. <laughs> that is a lot of lifeguards. Safety. Safety is the key here at Splash Country. 
It says let the adventure begin. <laughs> Let's go. This is definitely where you want to have an adventure. We're going to put that opening date for the 22 season down below. But there's so much going on. If you haven't been to Dollywood Splash Country yet, we're going to put links to some of the videos we shot here. It's a blast. It's fun. But this is only a part of what's going on at Dollywood. We've got two others. And if you haven't seen them, we're going to add those links below also. Yeah. If you haven't hit that like and subscribe yet, what's wrong with that? Because you really never know where we're going to end up next, especially around here in the Smoky Mountains. Oh, yeah. Be like sure to make more. each and every day, including those with a lot of splashing, oh, yeah. an adventure that rocks.